guys, um, I'm going to show off some of my Halloween decorations today. Um, it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a little bit, and so I just picked some of my favorites. So here we go. Um, these are some hanging guys that I have, and um, I think my obsession with hanging decorations started from my mom because she always had tons of them. And now uh, I have a ton of hanging ones. This guy, and a lot of these, my mom actually has this just hanging skeleton guy. This pumpkin. I have so many of these and <laughs> I'm starting to not have room to put them. This guy, I got him this year, so he's a new addition. We have this guy, and then, and then we have this guy in white. So those are my hanging guys. I also have this guy, this ghost. Then I have this hanging guy, which is kind of similar to that other pumpkin one. Then this guy. The spider. This was actually the first ever Halloween decoration that I got um, when I moved out of my parents' house and my husband and I got together. Well, when we are getting into our house. So that was one of the first ones I ever got. Well, that was the first one I ever got. Then this witch one, my mom has one just like it. And then this little tiny alien guy, I think he's so funny. I have this little guy that I got at a flea market and he talks and sings. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember he doesn't turn off. <laughs> And then this one was a set. Well, there was actually three of them. It came with that annoying scarecrow pumpkin. And then this one, and then a Dracula, but I didn't like the Dracula one. So I just got that one and the witch, and I'm not gonna turn her on because she's really annoying too. <laughs> and then we have this. It's a new one that I got this year um, from at home. I just, wow, that's bright. And it just, its eyes just glow. The tag's still on it. It's brand new. Little raven in a cage. And he uh, is pretty annoying too, so I'm not going to turn him on. But I got him last year. I have this mummy that I got from at home. I believe it was last year. And I like him. He's kind of creepy though. He kind of reminds me of his eyes from uh, The Nun, that movie. That's what he reminds me of, like his eyes. And then this is also brand, brand new this year. It's just a little spider. I haven't even unfolded his legs yet. But uh, he lights up. He's pretty cool. And then I have this Ferris wheel that I got. Um, at the end of last year, so I got him on sale, and um, it's really cool. I got him from Home Depot, and I can't if you I can't tell if you can tell, but there's a ghost and a skeleton and a witch on this one. And let's see. Oh, my husband got this this year because. He's obsessed with Harry Potter. I have a few more spiders. This guy is old now. I think he's from Walmart, so he's not the best quality, but there he is. And then this guy, I think, I think I got him last year too. I got this little one, this thing from Big Lots last year, and the tag is still on it, but, uh, it lights up and it's pretty cool. It's a little skeleton with his bride, I guess, yeah. 
with a little dead cat. So I thought that was pretty cool. I have this I got from Target last year. And it is really cool. I don't know if you can see it, but then when you touch it, the light kind of goes to wherever you're touching. We have some Halloween signs. My husband picked that one out last year. I think we got this from Gordman's. Or our uh, village, we got the doomed cuckoo clock. Um, from the Lee Max Spooky Town collection for this year and we actually got this on clearance for $32 because um, these guys wouldn't turn and the witch at the top wouldn't come out and um, my husband actually took this home and he fixed it and I think I could be wrong but the retail price was like 150 I think we got this for $32 and we fixed it so I was really excited about that piece we got this from Menards just a few weeks ago um, just a little tiny thing to go into the village I think it was like 12 bucks maybe and then I was really surprised to see that Dollar General had um, little village stuff so we got that guy, that guy, this one I actually saw I think at Michael's or Menard's so I was surprised and these were all a dollar so I was surprised to see that Dollar General had these and then we got just a little house and that would look fine just in like a back corner of a holiday village and then we have this one um, from last year we got from Menards. Uh, it's really cute. just lights up. It doesn't do anything. We have this one from Michael's that we got this year. It was 15. And it does light up. And again, it's kind of goofy, but it would be fine in the back corner. We got this from... Let's see if you can see it. We got this from Joanne Fabrics last year. I have those little animated pictures. So I have this one. And it just lights up. It's not really, this one's not really animated, I guess, but um, just lights up. This one is one I got from Michaels. It's going to be really hard to show it all off. But it's just a haunted house with a witch. And then, uh, you can it on real quick. Just lights up. Turn it off. You kind of get the picture. And then the horseman one. Well, there's that one. And then this uh, scarecrow one. Just out in a field there's that one this one I have this um, one of the three witches at their little cauldron uh, let's see if I can turn this one on so here's what he does. Do you like this photo? Nice! Very nice! So that's what he does. The last one I got at Home Depot as well, and it's my new favorite. I hope you can see it with the lights on. He just sits there and plays the piano and then laughs at the end. And then this is the last prop that I have for today. Um, it's a, a prop that I got this weekend um, at a local place called Johnny Brock's. It's in St. Louis and um, I'm totally obsessed with him. He's definitely the most realistic 
prop that I have. Um, and I'm super excited. I have no idea what to do with him, though. He's so big. He's taller than I am. And uh, I really don't have room for him in my house. Yeah, I think we are trying to decide what to name him. Uh, we have no idea yet. Right now we're calling him Clarence, but I doubt that will be his name. Uh, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.